Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am breaking down the five tips that I have found most helpful for simplifying my lifestyle. As you probably know if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've been kind of redesigning my life over the last few months and really focusing on building a life that makes me the happiest that I can be and I've definitely found a lot of things don't work and a lot of things have worked really well for me so I thought I'd share my five favorite ones with you guys today just in case you're going through something similar or you want to start simplifying your lifestyle. Before we get into it today because I am terrible for remembering to do this if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button and maybe ding the bell as well to get notified whenever I upload. There are new videos every single week at the moment and I'm hoping, <laughs> fingers crossed, that that will continue for a long time to come. Let's get straight into my five favourite simplifying your life tips. So my first tip is to keep your goals in mind. This is super important for me personally because I definitely got swept up with the world of working for a living and doing the pressured thing of wanting to build a career and you know going for the big expensive car and the job that pays well and you know all this kind of stuff. Those things are great if that's truly what makes you happy but I'm just not that kind of person. My happiness very much comes from other things like loving the space I'm in, loving the people that are around me, spending time with those people was really key for me as well and that just wasn't what was happening in my previous lifestyle. So having overhauled it completely, I have definitely found that having those goals in mind for what you want to achieve, both short term and long term, has been really helpful in making sure that I've always got those ideas in mind and that I can keep working towards them very, very deliberately. Tip number two is to quite simply, she says, stop doing things that upset you. This is much much easier said than done, don't get me wrong, I know, I've lived it. One thing that I am really really bad at is very negative automatic thoughts, so that's something that I work on a lot in my therapy sessions with my therapist and it's definitely having a big big impact on my life and how happy I feel day to day, so just doing little things like that to work on yourself. Maybe you are riddled with negative thoughts about yourself and you've got quite low self-esteem. Think about what steps you can take to help build yourself back up because there is no relationship that's more important than the relationship you have with yourself. And if that's a big thing, like I know it is for so many people, just like it is for me, then it's well worth investing any amount of time to make that happen. Tip number three that has been really useful for me, an overthinker, <laughs> is to quite simply keep my daily life simple. Sounds stupid, I know, but it really has worked. I am the world's worst person for overthinking and overcomplicating things, and anyone will tell you, just ask my mother, I split hairs to an infinitesimally small amount, and it's not good for my mental health, it's not good for the people around me, it's not helping anyone. So one thing that I found has been really helpful is to really simplify everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So one thing that I have started doing is I have started simplifying my daily tasks. So food, 
exercise, laundry, housework, going to work, whatever it is, makeup routine, hair routine, whatever, I have really boiled them down to the absolute essentials. And there is something so pleasing about simple food that you love made really, really well. Like that is one of life's greatest pleasures in my opinion. Something so pleasing and comforting about knowing that, you know what, I prefer to get my exercise through walking or I love to run or I love to cycle, you know, these are just not things I do. But you see what I'm saying. Simplifying your day-to-day -day sort of must-dos or whatever and making them as simple as they can be in their sort of purest form is going to really, really help to kind of declutter your whole life and especially your headspace, which is super important when you're trying to do something like this. Speaking of decluttering, obviously this one had to be on the list, declutter your home. You don't have to be a minimalist. You can 100% be a maximalist, but get rid of things that aren't making you happy, that aren't adding anything to your space. Get rid of all those old clothes that don't fit you anymore because they're too big or too small or they're ruined beyond repair. Get rid of them, clear yourself some deck space and have a look at what you're left with and it will make you feel so much happier. Not in the least because having a clear out like that is actually one of those super productive things that once you're done you feel really pleased with yourself because you've achieved something that sits for so long undone. I have cleared out my wardrobe twice so far this year I think or certainly in the last sort of six months or so and it's been really really helpful because now I'm looking at building a capsule wardrobe of things that I really, really love and I know what I need to get through day-to-day -day life for various tasks and I also know the items that I want and I've proven that by clearing out my wardrobe and really thinking about each and every piece of clothing that I've gotten rid of or kept. So decluttering your home I think is super important because if you're surrounded by things that solely make you happy and that solely give you this sense of pleasure and comfort and relaxation and joy, then you're automatically going to feel so much happier when you're at home and that is really key. Your home is your sanctuary and it should reflect exactly what you want from yourself and your life. So I think this is a really big one. So my fifth and final tip for simplifying your life is really vague, <laughs> obviously, and that is to constantly be working on yourself. This includes any number of things, doing things that make you happy, practicing mindfulness if you want to do that, maybe meditation, looking after your exercise regime, looking after your skin, being, you know, invested in your hobbies, invested in your relationships with your family and friends, nurturing your relationship with your significant other, really importantly, nurturing the relationship you have with yourself. That's a really, really big one. Start there. If you're worried about where to start, start with yourself, always. And just having this notion of wanting to be present for things that happen in your life and you know maybe put the phone away once in a while and even during lockdown you can do things like organizing a date night if you're living with your significant other have a movie night together and you know just eat quarantine snacks and watch your favorite movies and sit up late and talk and swap stories and Invest in your own hobbies as well. That's really, really important that you have interests outside of your relationships that fulfill you and you alone. It doesn't have to be for anyone else. If you're into loom weaving or macrame or knitting, crochet, whatever, you know, I personally love to knit. That's what I do with basically every evening of my life is I sit down and I do a few hours of knitting and I absolutely love it. And I find that since developing hobbies that aren't necessarily time sensitive, 
like YouTube or Instagram or something like that, it's really helped me to just be able to zone out during that time, which is really, really helpful because it's so relaxing then. There's no time pressure, there's no deadline, you're not going anywhere, like especially at the moment, you're not going anywhere. So I really think it's important to invest in your hobbies and your relationships with the people that you care about the most. So there we go, those are my five tips for simplifying your life. I have definitely found that a varying combination of these five things have been the most helpful for me. It's little things like, you know, enjoying the food you're eating, enjoying the exercise you're doing, enjoying every aspect of your life is super important to add to your own happiness and it will have a cumulative effect and it'll build up over the weeks, months, years and then eventually you'll have this lifestyle that's really satisfying for you and that brings you a lot and that you're getting a lot out of it in the sense that it's not only taking you where you want to be in life but it's also pleasing and satisfying and comforting in that present moment which I think is a really important balance that a lot of people forget. It's all about living your life for your own happiness. No one else matters in the end. At the end of the day, we're all just, you know, plodding through not knowing what the hell we're doing and that's fine. But as long as you're plodding through not knowing what the hell you're doing and you're happy about it, perfect. So like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're new here, <laughs> if you're new here. I have 17 subscribers, nearly everyone who's watching this is new here, but if you enjoyed this video, is what I should say, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and um, maybe ding that bell or uh, as my mum said, what did she say? Ring that ding bell or ding that, hit that, hit that ring bell I think it was hit the ring bell <laughs> to be notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!